Hello and good morning. This is Jovi Tupas. I'm a licensed real estate broker, licensed real estate appraiser, licensed real estate consultant, and an accredited lecturer for real estate. So why am I doing this video? It's because of a certain Mr. Edward Tan, a BSREM student from iAcademy, sent me an email to assist him for one of his subjects. And um, being in a uh, pandemic right now, so we opted to just uh, record my answers. So who is a real estate consultant? Yeah. So let's start with this first question. By the way, just in case you have other questions, just um, reply. Uh, in the comment section below and uh, hopefully I'll try to answer it in the uh, succeeding videos. So how did you start in the real estate industry? Okay, so um, this is quite a long story, you know, so uh, I think I'd rather just place a link below in the description the time I was interviewed about my real estate humble beginning. So uh, I hope you don't mind if you just uh, click on it. Medyo mahaba-haba kasi siya. So that will give you the entire history of how I arrived here in the real estate industry. At the same time, click like, subscribe, and hit on the bell icon just to be updated. Yeah. Okay, so um, you have a very interesting career. How did you get from where you started to the point you are of your career today? Okay, so uh, again, um, you'll find most of the answers in the interview that um, I had together with uh, uh, Talakayang Real Estate uh, at Teknolohiya with uh, consultant uh, William Floresta and Mr. Arnel Malabayabas. I'll just uh, place the link down below. Um, okay, so what is your area, subject of expertise in real estate consulting? What were your considerations in pursuing this area? Hmm, okay, so um, my expertise is actually my 25 years of uh, real uh, and true employment with the real estate company, employed uh, in the sales department, the uh, project management or project development group, and uh, with village management or yung parang customer services group. Uh, just so happened that my three real estate licenses are just an affirmation uh, of what I know. Yeah. So uh, it's all a... Uh, uh, license, it's all an uh, uh, proof of what I've uh, been through in real estate. Of the various areas service of real estate consulting, which one do you think is most rewarding and fulfilling? Okay, um, let me see. In the entire real estate consulting, I am more for the bringing together of the various facts and information and uh, placing them in a story, uh, placing them in a story that uh, clients will understand clearly in order to make a decision of their own. Yeah, and so uh, th that is my most rewarding and fulfilling uh, experience as a real estate consultant. It's uh, showing the client the full picture or the probably the other side of the picture or a uh, another view of uh, what they have been presented with uh, basing this on my experience of about 25 years in real estate plus uh, other uh, seminars that i attended and books that i've read okay Next question. Looking back at how you started in the industry, is there anything which you would have done differently? 
why or why not okay so hmm okay so um you might find this cheesy you know but, but i believe that the good lord will lead you where he wants you to go um i never really wanted to be in real estate i am an industrial engineering graduate i have a master in unix and economics Given a chance, um, I will still follow the same path as I have seen, uh, as, as, as I have seen uh, a lot of things and learned a lot of things from a lot of wonderful people, clients, friends, and uh, I was able to interact with uh, people from uh, different nationalities, uh, different cultures, or uh, different beliefs. Um, okay, next question. What value does a real estate consultant offer to developers, urban planners, and the industry as a whole? Okay, um, a real estate consultant gives an independent perspective of the project. Um, we are like a devil. No, no, indeed, man, devil. Uh, we are like an angel's advocate. Yeah. Our analysis and conclusions do not depend on whether the project is feasible or not. If it's feasible, we say it as it is. We call a spade a spade, so to speak. We give them a slight glimpse of the future. So we do not um, base our decision based on the answers or based on the results that they would want us to give or adjust. So we look at everything, we look at the facts, we look at the trends, we look at the industry in general, and uh, we try to give them an honest opinion uh, based on these uh, findings. Next question. Uh, please share your most favorable and most memorable consulting engagement. Okay, so... <clears throat> okay, there's been a lot, but uh, unfortunately... Uh, I am always covered with an NDA or a non-disclosure agreement. So uh, an NDA is quite common in real estate consultancy because uh, clients will divulge or let you in on their secrets, their plans, or whatever they're planning to do for uh, a project or a secret project. Most of the projects are really secret, so to speak. So they just need to have a third party to come and see. So during the meetings, uh, starts of the projects, even after the projects, a lot of things are going on. But sadly, because of that NDA, uh, I'm sorry, I can't divulge anything. So an NDA is a, uh, it's a natural uh, letter or agreement between a real estate consultant and their client so please also share your most challenging engagements what were your key learnings on that again as much as i want to uh being covered by an nda so um, it will be difficult for me to divulge the details but uh let's just say that um there had been arguments, there have been uh, fun moments, um, there's issues concerning the, uh, the, the owner, the company, the chairperson, uh, and other officers of the company uh, regarding my opinion. So uh, let's just leave it at that. <laughs> okay, so what do you think are the misconceptions about consulting if any hmm. okay misconceptions um to be honest i can't think of any are there any probably the only thing that i can think of or you most often asked is why would i hire a consultant i already all know all of these things I already did studies, uh, I already had my financial runs, I have my people doing it. So probably that's the uh, common misconception about consulting is that 
Why will I hire a consultant? I already have people doing it. Well, the answer could be, how well do you trust yourself? How well do you trust your gut instinct? Uh, how well do you trust your partners? How well do you trust your people or employees? So take note, there's an employer-employee relationship. There are friends-to-friends -friends relationship. There are business partners-to-business -business partners relationship. So sometimes medyo bias na yon. So consultants give an unbiased analysis based on our experience in the various fields of real estate. Um, if ever we are uh, hired to do a consultancy work, the results or the fees or the professional fees that we get are not based on the results. So the results can be good, it can be bad, it can be do nothing option. So we are not obliged to give a favorable uh, result or adjust the results, so to speak. What would you say are the attributes of or qualities of a successful consultant which are most critical to the profession? Actually, um, let's say consultancy to get us maybe similar to other consultancies, it's all about trust and reputation. Um, it's all about um, knowing the person, knowing the background, knowing his experiences, knowing his past work. Um, like for example, um, how did you get my name for you who are watching here? Um, did you search for me? Did my name just come up? Um, I'm sure you already asked other real estate consultants, but why me? Yeah, so it's all about trust and reputation. So if you think that you can trust this person, and if you think that uh, uh, this person was recommend, highly recommended by people, um, that I would say is the uh, attributes and qualities of a successful consultant. Um, what advice can you share to anyone who would like to pursue real estate consulting? Okay, so advice to uh, probably those who are just starting their real estate consulting work or probably uh, studying BSREM. So real estate consulting takes time. It takes a lot of time. Okay, you just don't learn everything by the book. You don't learn any, everything from your peers or instructors. You learn it with time. You learn different things. You try to analyze. You try to develop conclusion based on past experiences, based on what you've read, based on uh, the trends happening in real estate. Um, it's not supposed to be rushed you gain from a lot of first-hand experiences and you also learn from your peers. So try to be open to all possibilities and updates. Again, a real estate consultant is not the person who knows it all, who knows everything, who is uh, in command or whatever the consultant says is already uh, uh, the truth and the reality. So what we give is an opinion based on our perception. Uh, backed up by experiences and past knowledge. What should a new consultant expect to accomplish at the start of their career? <laughs> uh, okay, so at the start of your career, um, expect nothing. Why? Because uh, when you start the real estate consulting career, as I did, uh, I tried to be open to everything. I tried to be open to all possibilities. Try to keep an open mind. Because uh, sometimes you already have uh, um, other things already running in your head. You, already, you may have already prejudged a project based on rumors, based on uh, 
news articles based on hearsay. So always try to keep an open mind when uh, doing a, a project or starting a project. Always keep an open mind. Uh, you just need to learn and rely on your experiences, skills, plus of course, um, other consultants and specialists who are better than you. So up to now, I'm still dependent on other consultants and specialists for those big projects. It's best to have another set of um, eyes and ears, so to speak. So sometimes uh, I can see straight, but uh, with the help of my fellow peers and specialists, uh, I get to see the point of view of uh, other people or those in my periphery or those in the back. It's like having eyes on your back as well. So uh, usually a consultant does not work alone. So he is just an orchestrator. Is that a word? <laughs> or uh, or uh, 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 the one uh, manning the orchestra. Yeah. So he's the one who organizes everything, who plans everything. But there are people who are experts in uh, fields that uh, may help in the project. So um, you can probably say that uh, a consultant is a jack of all trades, master of some. Yeah, hindi siya master of none, master of some. So a consultant is a jack of all trades, master of some. And with the other things that we are not master of, we try to get specialists who are more skilled than we are in those uh, fields. Uh, again, we are not experts in everything. So real estate consultants are not experts in everything uh, about real estate, but we know a little of everything and understand how to place everything together or how to organize things together or how to put things in order. Next question. There are a total of, I believe, 13 or 14 questions. So I believe this is the last question. Uh, what do you see as big opportunities or challenges in real estate consulting uh, at the real estate industry as a whole? Okay. So um, probably one of the challenges is that um, everyone considers themselves as a quote unquote, yeah, air quotes, uh, consultant based on their experience and track record alone. And um, for some people, for some exceptional people, uh, I would have to agree that based on their experiences, based on what they've gone through, um, they would probably be more uh, better uh, being a consultant than me because of their vast experiences um, and track record. Uh, but I would like to say to them, then join us. Uh, get a legitimate license to practice. Are you afraid of an exam? A submission of a uh, project feasibility study? Are you afraid of uh, or scared of doing an oral defense in front of the uh, uh, real estate board, the professional regulatory board of real estate service? Um, um, it's, uh, it's good to be knowledgeable, but to cement that knowledge and to let people know that you are really qualified, you are really tested, or a third party is vouching for you that uh, uh, you indeed possess that skill, then get a license get a license um would you trust your life and business to someone without a license just because he or she is a smooth talker or uh, a close friend of a friend or a referral um yes it's one thing to be street smart but try to be a licensed street smart consultant it's different when you have it on paper. So I am actually wondering why uh, so-called consultants 
still haven't uh, gotten licenses. Although, for some, I believe that they are more than qualified, even more than qualified than me. It's just that my advantage is I have that license. Okay, so I believe that was the last question. So thank you very much. Again, this is Jovi Tupas, uh, licensed real estate broker, licensed real estate appraiser, and uh, licensed real estate consultant, and an accredited real estate lecturer by the PRC. So until our next video, if you have any more questions or if I fail to answer or expound on some of your um, questions, just write it down below on the uh, comment section and uh, hopefully I'll try to compile it and uh, try to make another video. I hope this uh, uh, short video helped you a lot to uh, in understanding uh, what a real estate consultant is. So again, thank you very much. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit on the notification bell icon to be informed of my next video. God bless and good morning to everyone.